I don't know, as long as you put your like your heart and like your, that's so corny. If you put your heart in it, that's how you make hits. I don't know if that's what I'm trying to say. Hi, my name is SZA and I'm gonna talk about some of my lyrics. Caught dipping with your friend, you ain't even have me lying on your thing, you know that. Got me a bag full of brick, you know that. For kiss me more. Now at concerts, I don't even sing the ding. I just, I just go like this. And then we all do it together and it's like my favorite part of the song. Thank you all for turning that up. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Doja. Thank you to my mama. Thank you to God and just thank all of y'all. I really didn't have anything to say because it's really her accomplishment. And I really wanted her to like just do her thing and have whatever moment she wanted. I'm just, I'm a part of it. I'm grateful to be a part of it, but when it's my turn, then it'll be my turn. But I wanted her to have her full moment to say anything. So I really didn't even say much. I just thanked my mom and, and got off of there before I put my foot in my mouth. I still want to be with you, trust me. I know that's insane. I'd rather fuck on you than fuck on lames. I did some shit in Berlin. I'm OD. We both ain't shit and it's working for me. Yes, from telekinesis. I'd rather fuck on you than fuck on lames. I feel like we all grew up on Drake in like some obvious way. So somewhere in my subconscious, he just skips around sprinkling breadcrumbs. I saw something that said we were like secretly singing to each other through song. And I was like, what? None of that is true. Are you down to listen to me? Too many drinks have been given to me. I had been up for three days, genuinely, and we got like that threatening text where it's like, if you don't send it right now, it's too late. And so I was like, okay. We had just landed on like a ferry from somewhere really far. And then I don't know what I said. Like I have no idea what I said. I have no idea why I was awake or how. And I panicked right before I came out because I was like, damn, I haven't heard this. It's such an airtight project. Like no one's sending files. Even when they sent me the file to hear, like the day of, it was distorted. Like it was like blah, blah, over it. So it was very much like, damn, this might sound absolutely crazy or it might be cool. It turned out pretty cool. And I guess like in my sleepy subconscious, after someone said that, I heard it. And I was like, that's crazy. That wasn't what I was thinking at all. I like the lore though, it's funny. I gotta get right, trying to free my mind before the end of the world, it's good days. Gotta get right, trying to free my mind before the end of the world. I don't know, just like being left alone. Just like do whatever I wanna do. And like just being able to just like let the day take shape on its own. Sometimes, I don't know, I'm like a more physical person and then it just kind of takes shape. Like I'll get up and I may be in a bad mood in my mind, but like I'll just, I don't know, just start doing shit. Like just drive towards the beach or drive towards a certain direction and things just kind of reveal themselves. I'm gonna look outside my window. I can get a peace of mind that is from consideration. When I look outside, I cared so much and I, I was so like, just frustrated and I felt like I'll never have anything this cool again. I'll never make anything this cool again. And that was so crazy and so wrong. Cause it was like the centerpiece to my album at the time. And for her, it was just like part of her album. And I was like, please, no. I had just shot a video for it. And like, I was about to drop it like in a couple of days. It was already done. Like whatever, like conversation, like label wise, whatever was already done. So it was just a matter of like accepting. And like in hindsight, it, it was so hard to like go and accept. But now it's like, I'm I'm so glad that that happened and that it didn't cost me anything, if anything. I just like gained a bunch from it. And I thank God that I made cool music outside of that. Again, and I, I don't know why, I just really thought my creativity would just like stop. And like, this was like the pinnacle of what I could make. If she has it, then I'll just never be anything. <laughs> I'm so mature. I got me a therapist to tell me there's other men I don't want and I just want you. If I can't have you, no one should. Just kill Bill. If I can't have you, no one not only my current music, but my earlier. Well, I do sometimes comedy things like I'm blind when it's like raunchy, like Bob Saget. But if you think about his comedy stand up, it's really raunchy, which is bizarrely like contrasty to like how people know him as. So I think I'm just like into film and like stand up and just like watching shit. So I always try to inject some film and television into. It's like my biggest inspiration because reading makes me tired. So TV is like my form of ingesting. Somebody get the tacos, somebody spark the blunt, let's have the knuckles off at of episode one. It's Drew Baymore. Somebody get the tacos, somebody spark the blunt, let's start the knuckles off at of episode one. I owe her. And well, I dedicated a song to her, but I love her. She's amazing, like the best. 
I had a really big stint at Cactus Taco when I first moved to LA on Vine Street. I haven't been there like since the pandemic, but it used to be my favorite place. Get the California burrito and the steak tacos, but it was always steak or shrimp. I just cry for no reason. I just pray for no reason The all the stars. I just cry for no reason. I just pray for no reason. I had no idea what it was for. <laughs> they said it was for Disney, for this Disney thing. And I was like, okay. But they didn't even say it was for a Disney thing. It was just something that originally everybody was just at the studio working on. Like everyone in TDE. Everybody was just working on a bunch of songs together. And that was one of the songs that like, Dot was just like, come in here and work on this. And I was like, okay. And then even when I was time to shoot the video, they were like, you're shooting a music video for Disney. And I was like, what? I still didn't know what they were talking about, but I was on tour. So we just had on our day off. I'm so honored to be a part of that. In hindsight, it's like so fucking cool. I'd never been a part of anything that that was that gnarly. And I don't know, the major and impact it was very cool. Leave me lonely for prettier women. You know I need too much attention for shit like that. That's supermodel. Leave me lonely for prettier women. You know I need too much attention for shit like that. Some stuff, there's like stuff that I didn't put on control because I feel like people just aren't mature and like can't handle it and they don't deserve like that type of information. And I still feel like that now more than ever. And I'll never put that music out. And I'm glad that I didn't, but it still like was fun to make and beautiful. Especially now, I find myself wanting to share less and less with anyone because it's super dangerous and weird and like everyone's just so scary and mean. It's not an enjoyable environment for vulnerability and sharing. My man is your man, her determined is uh, the weekend. My man is my man is your man, her is her man too. It was actually just selfish. It was just a personal, like, it's so funny that you want to be with this man so bad. And I just want to have sex with this person. And it's weird that you even think enough of him to want more. And that wasn't nice in hindsight, but it was true. It was like a joke, but it was also true. It was like people you have sex with, but it's like, you're not my man. I don't even want you to be my man. But there is a girl that's dying for you to be her man. It just is not me. <laughs> Took me out to the ballet. You proposed. I went on the road. You was feeling empty, so you left me. That is, nobody gets me. Took me out to the ballet. You proposed. I went on the road. You was feeling empty, so you left me. It is a love song, for sure. Like, it encompasses, like, the grief a very serious situation. Yeah, it was like a relationship that I was in for like more than a decade. So it was just like heavy vibes regardless. And I guess that song just kind of like remarks over the grief of kind of like moving past that. And like, I don't know, it's like a closure anthem of sorts. Right now I'm not looking for anything. I just need to find like peace of mind within myself. I just want to be left alone and like safe <laughs> to my own devices, which isn't so safe, but safer than being left in mystery devices. So. That is where I'm at. All alone, still not a thing in my name. Ain't got nothing running from love, only no fear. 20 something. Ain't got nothing running from love, only no fear. I saw something today where it's like, when, why do people keep asking me to act my age when I just got here? Like, it's my first time being this age. I don't know. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. I'm really still looking back at everything. I'm in it. Maybe when I'm 40, and then I'll be like, damn, that was crazy. But I do look back and I'll be like, I was ashy and like a little dirty and I was weird. And I'm glad that I'm not in my 20s anymore. Show me the way to your hiding place. I think I wanna go, go, go there. Ice moon. Show me the way to your hiding place. At that time, like a million streams was like a really big deal. And like, that was such a strange, crazy time. Remember when SoundCloud was like everything? That was it. If you were like busting on SoundCloud, that was just like, you had the world in your actual hands. But so yeah, I just had a bunch of listens on SoundCloud. I was just happy. I couldn't even, I didn't have no money to get, I didn't have a bank account to cash my check. I didn't have no money to get back to the crib to get to the bank, I was in LA. So when someone hands you like a check for however much money, you still gotta like get back home and get to the bank and check in and open the account. So I was just more so like, I didn't grasp any of that. That was so weird, I actually didn't celebrate at all. That was strange, I should have. I be celebrating now a little bit. People think I'm just like a sad girl like or something all the time and I'm not. It's just like, that's the part that I be writing about so I can like not be a sad girl. <laughs> so I can process my emotions and move forward. Depression, no, I'm joking, I'm not. But I think it's just life experiences. It's not depression. I'm <laughs> Some of it has been. I think it's just like processing emotions and I'm excited about the new music I have coming out because it's like, it's not sad, but it is a lot of like also processing and like I'm happy to like move past the places where I am or where I've been.
But I think that's, I don't know, as long as you put your like your heart and like, your, that's so corny. If you put your heart in it, that's how you make hits. I don't know if that's what I'm trying to say. If you keep it a bean, you're more than likely, I feel like, to be in good standing. <laughs>